If you're just starting off your photography business and you don't have the budget to pay somebody to create your website for you, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step process for creating your first free professional photography website so you're a step closer to showcasing your images to the rest of the world. What is happening people, my name is Gaurav and I'm a travel and a wedding photographer based in Birmingham, England. In this video today, I am gonna show you how easy it is to create your own photography website. I know there's other platforms to choose from for creating your own website like Squarespace, but I personally like Wix.com because it can still guide you through the process, so it is very, very simple to use. Plus, if you wanna dive into the advanced mode, it's also got that option. And in my opinion, it's got tons of customization, a lot more than Squarespace. Now, I'm not saying Squarespace is bad, I'm just saying Wix.com gives you a lot more control of your website having said that let's just dive in and take a look at my website that i've created on wix.com so here we are on my wedding photography website it's a gkexposure.co.uk i'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out so if you visit my website you'll see exactly this you'll see this image is changing after a certain time and you can change the duration as well so you can set it to change longer or slower and i wanted to keep it sim really simple you can have any design you want but i wanted the viewer to experience a very large version of some of my favorite photos i've kept this really really simple at the top i've got all the different pages you can click on so if you go to video that's all my youtube videos and client access area that will open a separate page where you can log in if you're a client and you will get username and password to view all your photos and download all your photos. Let's just close that. If you click on the website name, it will take you back to the main page. Let's just scroll down a second. And I've got a little description here as well as my portfolio, which is portraits, weddings, and family. And followed by testimonials and my Instagram page. And what you can always do is you can go to show more and it will open up more of my Instagram photos. And right at the bottom, I've got a simple contact form. Let's just scroll back up. If I was to click on weddings, you can see I've got a brief description and I've got some of my favorite wedding photos from the weddings I've captured over the years. So there we go, very, very simple and it's not overly complicated. So I'm just gonna show you the back end of this website now. I've already logged in, so I'm just gonna to go to this tab here and we're going to click on this pencil icon. And the great thing is I'll get a very visual representation of my website. So if I was to update any of the images, for example, I can always go into menu and here's all my pages. I can go to weddings click on the gallery, manage media, and I can always add more media. Image, video, text, I'm gonna add an image, and we're gonna go to weddings, and add another image, for example, this one, and add to page, and that's all I have to do. I'm not gonna add one because I think that one's already in there, and that's it, that's all I have to do. After I press a publish button, it's there, it's live on the website. So this is some of the things that I do regularly now that the website is complete and it doesn't take much time as you can see. Now with that out of the way, let's just see how you can create your own first website. If you type in wix.com on a web browser, it will bring you to this page. We're gonna go to get started. And I'm gonna start with a brand new website. So we're gonna go to continue with Facebook. By the way, just to let you know, this may change in the future. At this point in time when recording this video, this is what this page looks like, but the display may change at a later date. To get a taste of other people's websites, we can just go to get inspired and explore now. And here's some samples of other people's websites. For example, this one looks pretty cool. Let's just check this one out. And you can see if I roll over the images, you can see what type of gallery I'll be going on. So let's just click on that, for example. And here we are. Very, very simple, very nice website. Again, this is just to give you an idea of what you can create. Right, back to creating a website. Let's click on create new site. We want to create a photography site. And if you're not sure, we can always go into view view full demo and it tells you use this template as a starting point but we just want to check it out first now i think this is too basic for my liking so i'm just going to get rid of that i want to create a travel photography website so i'm just trying to find the one that i like 
You know what, let's go with something like this. I quite like the look of this. Yeah, I think I like that. So at the top here, I'm just gonna click on this and type in my name. Let's just click on the background slides here and go to change slide background and image. And we can pick an image. And now we don't want any of these images. We wanna upload media. We can upload from computer, we can just drag and drop. So I've actually put together quite a few images over here earlier just for this website. So I'm gonna drag and drop this. Give it a second to upload. And yeah, change background. There we go, can have that. Let's go to the next one. And we wanna change that one as well. Click on image, upload media again. We'll add this one. Again guys, this is just for demonstration purposes. You can take your time with this and spend as long as you want. Let's go to the last slide. Again, that's not my image, so I'm gonna go to image, upload media, and let's add this one for example, and change background. So within a short space of time, what we've done is we've changed the website name and we've changed the main images that appear on the landing page. Now that's done, I'm just gonna change some of the details here. So all I'm gonna do is double click that and take out the mobile number here and I'm just gonna put another one, 0121. Let's just make one up, 777, 7777, there we go, right. And we can update this as well. Info at my travel uk. And with the social media bar, we can just click on that and set social links. If I click on Facebook, I can set my Facebook link on the right hand side here. So I can change it to whatever I want. Uh, that means anytime somebody clicks on the Facebook icon at the bottom, it will go to my Facebook page. Same with Twitter and same with Instagram. You can click on Instagram and on the right hand side here, you can put your Instagram URL and it will go to your Instagram page instantly. So that was quite easy. Let's have a quick preview of what the website actually looks like. I'm going to go to the preview mode here and there we go. It changes automatically. And at the moment, we've only got three images. We can continue to add more if you want to. Let's just go to back to editor. And we want to edit some of the other pages. So if I go to menu and pages here, and I don't think we need that many pages. So what we can always do is instead of deleting them, we can click on these three dots on the side of the images. And we can go to hide. Let's hide that. About me page, we'll leave that open. Let's go to people and we can even change the name of this page. Let's call it portfolio. Close that off. And here's the portfolio gallery. And at the moment it's just populated with the sample images and we don't want that. We can click on any one of the images and it will select the whole gallery. Go to manage media. We don't want any of these images and just gonna remove them from the gallery by clicking the delete bin icon at the bottom right. Let's just add our own media images. That can stay and let's just get all of these and drag them in here. And you can see here they're uploading. I'm just gonna forward this so we don't have to wait. Okay, so it's all done. So we're just gonna click on add to page. And as you can see, it's only done one. We're just going to go to add media again, images. We want to make sure that all of these are selected and we can do that by, this one's already done, so we're not going to add that one again. Select the second one, scroll all the way down, hold shift and press the last one. Add to page. There we go. That's all of them. We're going to go to done. And here they are. Let's just go to preview again. So this is what it will look like. Now, as you can see, some of these photos are cropped a bit weird. In fact, all of them are square and I don't like that. So let's just go back and change it back to editor. Click on the gallery and settings. Let's go to layout. And at the moment it's on grid view. Let's just go to strip. And there we go. 
we've got the full images. If you still don't like that, you can change it to thumbnails. And that means you can click on individual images or you can go to slideshow. You can go to collage, it's up to you. So let's just leave it on collage at the moment. Quite like that. Preview. There we are. Let's go to back to editor and let's just have a look at the mobile version. This is the mobile version of the website. Let's just preview that. About me, blog and portfolio. Brilliant. If I click on my name, it should go back to the main page. Portfolio. So what if I want a different layout on the mobile version as opposed to the desktop version? I can still click on the gallery, go to settings, layout, and I can select a different version to be viewed on the mobile phone. Here we go. Let's just leave it as strip for now. Quite like that. Switch to desktop. And let's just change this to portfolio as well. And the last page you want to do is you want to go to the about me page and you can update the photo to your photo uh, by clicking on the image, change image. And let's just put one of these in for now. There we go. And you can write whatever you want on here. Blog, I don't want, so I'm going to turn that off as well. And what you can do is if you wanted to add other pages, you can still go to menu and you can add a page at the bottom. It is very, very simple to use. There's not much of a learning curve. You can name this page whatever you want. You can name it, you can name it FAQs and we can add a text, title, huge title. Let's just call it FAQ. And just simply drag and drop that in the place you want. And it gives you these guides so you know when you're in the center. So if I was to have this dead in the center, it will tell you when that's there. So that's quite handy. I know it looks quite intimidating when you're first starting off, but it's just there to help you. Go to text, paragraphs, add, and you can add all the FAQs you want. You get the idea. So we can put that in place and you can stretch this. Again, it's nothing overly complicated. It is very, very straightforward. It's designed to make life easier for you. Let's see what other things we can add. We can add another gallery at the bottom if we wanted to. So we can just drag and drop this gallery here. Let's move that in position. We can click on the lines on the right here and go to portfolio. There's my portfolio. Again, click on these lines and go to about me. If I click on my name, it will go to my main landing page. Once you're happy with your website, you can just go to publish and that will take you through the process of publishing your website. So at the moment it's published as this website address because it's free. But what you can do is you can upgrade now and you can add your own domain name to this website. And I'll leave a link in the description below to this page so you can view the price plans if you do want your own customized domain name. So there you go, guys. I hope that was helpful. Clearly, there are hundreds of templates out there, and this was just an example of one of them. Having said that, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there on customization and other helpful videos from Wix.com that will guide you through the process if you get stuck. Like I said, depending on your preference, you might want to spend longer on your website. This was just a demonstration to show you how easy it is to create a professional looking website without having to pay a lot of money to somebody else. With the free version of the Wix website, there are limitations. And again, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check out this page. However, it is a very good starting point if you want full control over your own website without having to pay somebody 
every time you want to make a change. So I'm just going to leave it here for this video guys and I just want to thank everybody for all the likes, the comments and the support I've been getting in my previous videos and I'll catch you in the next one.